Um, yeah, I thought we started both halves pretty well. You know, got off to a really good start in the game um, and, and got an early grip on the game, which is always helpful. And then I thought coming out of halftime, you know, we're up by close to 20, I think. And I think, you know, it's tough psychologically in those situations. The team usually comes out, the opposing team that's down comes out ready to go. And I thought our guys, like, they tried to junk the game up a little bit. I thought our guys, you know, were in attack mode and got early control in that third quarter. Um, so I thought we did a good job of that tonight. Offensively, you know, the offense was just humming all night long. Did you see carryover from the Washington game, and were you able to build on kind of the execution from, from Tuesday? Um, yeah. You know, I think the last three games and the Denver game at home, we scored 95 points, but I thought we really moved in the right direction offensively in that game too, and the ball didn't go in as much as it did tonight, obviously. Um, but we're trying to build a, a style and we're trying to build an identity uh, and we're trying to build it on the things we can control. And, you know, shot making is the last thing, you know, the last part of the play and you don't have control over it. So um, in that Denver game, we, we really get off on the right track. Uh, and then in Washington, we were good again offensively and I thought we carried it over again tonight. We moved the ball and generated really good shots. Mark, to next question, what, what did you think about um, they cut it to eight with about eight minutes left, you called timeout, and then it was back up to 18 um, after a couple of minutes. What did you think about that stretch? Um, I thought we had two stretches in the second half that were particularly poised, you know, where I thought we just we answered really well. Um, in a tough situation, I mean, they were, you know, coming out of the first half, they, they I think they were boxing, wanting us um, with Shea, which is a, a defense you don't see every night, and they threw the rhythm of the game off, you know, credit them for pulling a lever to try to, um, you know, get themselves back in the game. But, um, yeah, I thought we did a nice job of responding there in the third quarter when it got a little dicey, and I thought the same thing happened in the stretch there. Uh, we just kind of stayed the course and just were pretty committed to the way we were playing all night, you know, give or take a couple possessions. The way they were playing Shea, was that just a result of how well he was attacking at the start of the game? I would assume so. You know, at, he was just... Uh, in the paint, um, he had it all going there in the first half. He did a really good job of attacking, um, and, and I think that was a response to that. But you know, credit the credit him and the team. You know, I thought we continued to get really good looks and move the ball around and use their aggressiveness against them. And I thought you know, for the really the fourth game in a row for Shea, you know, two of them were struggles. You know, Minnesota and Denver, but for the fourth game in a row, he's played a style that's. Um, kind of ignited our team and, you know, is also best for him long term. And I thought tonight was an example of that, but it, it didn't start tonight. You know, he's been kind of in this mode for the last, you know, four games or so. You guys had a season high in threes and three point percentage. Um, I know part of that's just them going in, but did you like the looks that you got from deep? Yeah, you know, I thought they were, you know, at a certain point, they were kind of selling out on the paint um, when the ball got penetrated. And so I thought a lot of the looks were quality and I thought, you know, they were they were willing to, to, to live with that tonight. Uh, and to our guys' credit, we made them. Um, but you, know, you have to make the passes and you have to take the shots. And I thought our team did that, and that's what you can control. And I thought we did that tonight. Mamadi made his debut for you guys. Just what did you see from him? Um, you know, he's, he hasn't played uh, since the preseason game where he got hurt. And so, um, you know, I, I didn't have much of an expectation. You know, it was more about getting him out there, getting him moving a little bit, seeing how he looked. Um, and he brings a great, you know, he brings an infectious energy to the team and to the game, and I thought he did that. He's a little rusty, you know, he hasn't been in practice with us in, in the game, so he's a little behind on uh, what we've been doing um, since camp, but uh, I, you know, I was impressed with him. I thought he was ready to play, did a nice job. Daniel Bell. Yeah, Coach, you um, had a season high in assists tonight with 32. Um, then you had a season high in assists the other night. And um, the last few games, you had some very high assist games. Has that been much more forgivances lately? Um, it's, those are, the assist numbers are dicey because it, it's predicated on the ball going in. And like I said, I think we've played a lot of good games this year where you know the ball didn't go in as much as it did tonight but we really moved it and we're really trying to build a style of play and an identity that's sustainable over time and so i think we've been on that track for the entire season and we've like i said about the denver game the other night we've um done a nice job of that the last few games even when we haven't had the outcomes that we had tonight and so um we just need to continue to invest in that style 
because it allows everybody to play out of advantages and it allows us to be threats at all five positions. Um, and we've got you know half a season left to continue to build on that. So more focused on that than necessarily the outcome of the shots or outcome of the numbers. But it is a credit to the way the ball moved tonight.